So good morning everyone and welcome. You can go ahead and find a comfortable way to sit this morning and settle in. So for you, if it might be sitting cross-legged, feel free. If you'd like to extend your legs out or sit on a chair, that's fine as well. Let's take a few moments to tune in together so we'll shut down the eyes. And you might imagine that you sort of have two settings for your body and your mind. One of the settings is what we're most usually on. We're moving through our lives, thinking and acting and doing. And there's a whole other setting of feeling, sensing, and being. And so you might imagine that you're sort of turning this knob. It might be a little rusty from not using, or maybe it's well lubricated because this is something that you've practiced very much in your life. But either way, just gently begin to make the shift of turning into the feeling, the sensing, and the being aspect of yourself. We can do this by softening the muscles in our body, especially the expression. You might take your inner gaze like a little searchlight and shine it upon different parts of the body. Or even it can be nice to start in the heart and feel that there's a warm glow extending in every direction, forward, backwards, above and below. Sometimes when we start to begin feeling in our body, we notice that there may be parts of the body, little pockets that are tense. We no may notice that there's more opportunity to relax. And the inevitable end is that all paths of this relaxation, being, feeling body lead to an inner sense of bliss. So the lighter that you feel, the more relief, the more joy or bliss, the closer that we are getting back to our natural resting state of being. If you find yourself in this practice switching back to the old mode of thinking, doing, controlling, just remember that we've made this decision in the beginning of our class to remain in a state of being and feeling, watching, listening especially, curious, interested so many of our outer forms in the class the breath techniques the postures may be the same but it's this inner quality of our consciousness that we're really refining through repetition in the practice highest practice that we can have is to feel that we are a channel or that there is a river of consciousness flowing through us. And just like you may marvel at the beauty or be in awe of a scene in nature, a vast ocean or a river cutting through a canyon, it's with that same awe that we can experience this consciousness flowing through our bodies. And 
the more that we can feel that this is the power behind all of our strength, it's the inspiration behind every idea that we have, it's the source of all of our joys and our bliss in this life. Take a final moment here at the spiritual eye. So looking with the physical gaze, turning the eyes to look up just a little bit higher. And you look right past the forehead like it's a thin screen or a film and you're projecting your consciousness past the screen. Good. And we'll start with the sound of Om today. So if you'd like, you can join your hands together in prayer. This is a particular style of Oming that is helpful for uplifting our consciousness. So eyes can stay closed, or if you feel more comfortable with them open, feel free to join them open. And so this Om steps up in three stages. You join when you're ready. We'll do several rounds. Allow a couple more moments here in perfect stillness and silence within, at peace. Either rest in the center of the heart with your attention or the spiritual eye, whichever feels more natural. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes and come back to, to join us. So we're going to start in a seated posture today. And you can just go ahead and start by extending your legs out. And we're going to take a few moments here just to rub up and down the legs. And take some time just to feel that sense of touch between your hands and the skin on the legs. Give some love to these beautiful parts of your body that carry you around and all of your adventures. And then we're just going to do some soft drumming. So you take your fist soft, not bound, and just go down the middle or up the middle, down the outside, whatever you'd like here. This is sort of just waking up any of those little cells that may be sleeping in today, not ready to embody. They just want to sleep. And then give one more rub, a little more vigor this time. Try to keep your spine relaxed so that your low back is getting a little love here too. 
And we're going to go ahead and send our hands back behind us and just recline and lift up in the heart. You can point the toes if you'd like and squeeze the shoulders behind the body. Sit nice and tall and start by looking forwards and then you might lift the gaze a little bit higher. Keep the chin tucked towards the throat. Just a few moments here of deep breath, supportive breath. Aligning all of the doorways in the spine so that energy can start to freely travel upward. Got to release the travel band on your consciousness. Let it rise up to the spiritual eye. And when you're ready, you can slowly just descend down. We're going to take knees bending, feet connecting down to the earth, and just a little rocking from side to side. Relaxing and feeling. Sometimes as I practice, I like to inwardly just repeat, I am joyful, I am free, as a reminder of the reality that is already present. I am joyful, I am free. I am joyful, I am free. Okay. So we're working mostly in the low spine here. A little bit on the hips as we're rolling side to side. You might look in the opposite direction. And so just notice if there's an inner pressure that's sort of fast forwarding your practice. Or if you might be sort of a little sleepy, not quite yet awake in your body and in either direction, long deep breath and a joyful disposition is the centering activity to participate in. And then at some point it feels natural to come back to the center here. We're just going to take our feet together, knees together. And if you can, just rub the palms in this position. And then rub the wrists, front and back sides. The wrists get a lot of attention in our practice. We want to make sure they have plenty of blood flow. Good. And then just a little drumming down the arms. Again, it's a loving drum. You're waking up the body. And then just a little rubbing of each of the arms. Remember your arms are the physical extension of your heart. You want to keep your arms healthy so that they can serve in this world. We're going to hold on the back sides of our thighs and go ahead and lift up in your chest. Use a little bit of energy and engagement to lift a bit higher than you're used to and start to roll up onto the heels. Good. From this point, using the muscles of the belly, you can start to engage them. You might free the hands. And to the degree that you find to be stimulating, energizing, you start to recline a little bit more, but keep the chest open here strong steady breath and we'll use the affirmation for this posture navasan or boat pose within my every breath is infinite power within my every breath is infinite power i was working with the kids at hasbro last night and one of the kids took a deep breath in the pose and said oh my god it's so much easier I just breathe and it was this beautiful aha moment let's see if we can take one more breath here extending and then exhaling you can go ahead and hold onto the backs of the thighs we're gonna take feet a little bit wider and set them down onto the ground good and then walk your hands towards the inside and just let the head come down if you can go forwards a little more feel free and you let your head come down Remember, even as we come into active po positions, to keep yourself on that setting of relaxation, feeling, and listening. When you're ready, you can slowly build the pose back up. We're going to step feet together, knees together, and 
fingertips are going to point towards your heels. We're going to do a reverse tabletop pose. So when you're ready, you inhale and lift your hips off the ground. Use the strength of your legs and your belly. Most importantly, use the energy of joy to lift in the pose, the affirmation. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. If you need to come down, come down. And you might even rock your knees side to side, just as a little reset. And we'll come up into the pose when you're ready. So inhaling with a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. Look right over your belly, down towards the knees even. Good. Take another breath here. With a burst of energy, I rise to greet the world. And then you come down as you're ready to. Same thing, just turning fingers out to the sides now, rocking knees side to side. Excellent. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and release up onto our seat here. And we're going to lean ourselves over to the left side. Let the knees come down. And then if you can, take the right foot back behind you and draw the left foot into the center of your body. It's called a bull pose. Once you arrive in the pose, take a nice deep breath and reach the arms up overhead. Good. Exhale, hands into the heart. One more time. This time you're going to look over to the left side with the heart and then release the hands down exactly where they land. So one should be in the center, one is in the center behind the body. Just like you're zipping up a winter jacket, you're going to go ahead and draw up as you lift the hips and send your left arm up into the sky. Right arm is your support. Good, and then take a few circles around here with this front arm, making sure the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist feel nourished. And then reverse the rotation. Good. If there's overwhelming sensation in the body, make sure you smile and breathe. Let's go ahead and lower down. And then you're just going to very gently draw your left hand over to the right knee and look down for a few moments. This is a great way to counter twist in the body. It's very subtle. Good. And then when you're ready to come out of the pose, you might just lean yourself over to the side to free that leg out and around. We're going to come right to the other side. So you might step feet down, knees bent, lean over to the side and then you can draw that foot behind you and then other foot comes into the center. Good. For some of us our toes are pointing off to the side here and that's totally natural. For others of us the toes will tuck back in the opposite direction. And when you're ready, if you can do this, send the arms up to the sky otherwise just breathe Good. and then exhale hands into the center of the body. And inhaling a big, joyful breath, feeling a powerful current of consciousness coming into your body. And this time we'll separate palms away from each other, one in center front and other in center back. When you're ready, transition weight onto the backhand and inhale and lift the hips as you draw your front arm up into the sky. When you arrive at the peak, then start to circle a few rounds in either direction. Feel every breath that you're breathing in vitality to the body. We're letting go of old energy, old patterns of thinking and being that no longer reflect this joyful state that we talk so much about in these classes. You can lower down when you're ready. And again, just taking right hand over to the knee and looking down or towards the back shoulder. breath becomes this wonderful little rhythm or a golden thread weaving through the tapestry of your practice that you can watch as it unfolds. We'll come back to center and this time just leaning off to the right should give you enough space to free that leg 
out out of the way. So we're going to come into Janusharasan, which is the single leg extension. So you can start with right foot in the center here. Go ahead and reach back and pull the muscle out of the way if there's anything preventing you from sitting nice and tall. Now some of us are just going to sit tall with our hands behind us, toes flexed on your front leg. And remember, these are subtle stimulations. The nervous system through so much input sometimes becomes sort of dulled and we lose connection with subtlety. Get a little taller through the crown of the head. And then slowly, almost so slow that you can't even identify that it's happening, you're going to start to lean forward with an open heart. So try not to round the back just yet, but keep the heart open. If you can walk hands in front of the legs, you're welcome to. If there's a lot of tension behind the knee, give the knee a little bit of a rub here, and you'll find that it starts to evaporate right before your eyes. So you can relax and breathe. You're staying as tall as you can on the spine for as long as possible, and then at some point, let the whole body round. That is, let your heart come closer towards your lap. Let the head and the neck release and breathe. Nice, long, steady breath with the affirmation. Left, right, all around, life's harmonies are mine. Left, right, all around, life's harmonies are mine. No matter what the inner experience, keep a positive anticipation. We're always anticipating a return to our blissful nature. No matter how murky it may get, we're on our way there. If we're breathing, let's slowly come back up in the center here. We're going to turn our hands off to either side of our knee, and you're going to fold your foot down towards the ground. Once you push off of the earth, Try to slide the knee underneath the body, and we're going to set for a side plank. It will look like this when you finish, and send your opposite arm up into the sky. Nice steady breath here. Some of us don't need the bottom foot, and we just send it out of the way. Just be mindful of what your body actually wants, rather than the mind. We want to strengthen our spiritual muscles, not the ego muscle. So as you practice, you can really gauge that based on how easy it is to smile. If it becomes very hard, we're wandering in the realm of ego. If it gets easier, we're returning back to the realm of spirit. So when you're ready to come down, you can go ahead and just lower yourself down. And we're going to take both knees to the ground and just set right for the other side. And I'll turn around so that I'm still facing you. So left foot should be back this time and then sending left arm up into the sky. This is a beautiful affirmation, especially for those of us with busy minds. The calm fire of my concentration burns all restlessness and all distractions. So say it with me, even if it's internal, the calm fire of my concentration burns all restlessness and all distractions. If you lifted your lower leg, make sure you do so on this side too, just to stay even in the body. If your shoulder's growing tired from holding the hand up, just lay the hand on the heart. One more time, the calm fire of my concentration burns all restlessness and all distraction. When you're ready to come down, you just go ahead and lower the knees back down, both hands to the earth. Let's just take a moment to rise up here and reset. Make sure our wrists are still happy. Give them a little circle and rise all the way up with the arms. 
and then reverse all the way down. One more time, open hands this time. And all the way down. Articulating the fingers even. And then let's take our palms, we'll rub them together in this position. And we're just going to do a little bathing of the kidneys. So give your kidneys a little rub. That's your low back. You might even look down a little just to help your hands get a little bit higher. Really give them some love. The adrenal glands sit right on top of the kidney. Responsible for the adrenaline that comes through our bodies when we're scared or fearful. You just want to make sure that nothing is stuck on in that region of the body that it's operating healthy. Good. Let's go ahead and lower down into child's pose. And we're going to take this as a neutral asana. So let the forehead come down. The idea here is to check back in with the whole body. So behind closed eyes. Notice the feeling. Are we feeling that we're moving in the direction of lightness, expansive? energized, calm. And there's the all special place at the base of the skull, top of the spine, in the physical brain, it's called the medulla oblongata. It's a point where we receive prana into the body current of consciousness that flows through you enters the physical body at this point. So take the next three to five breaths in this neutral position to breathe into that space. Remembering that pure consciousness is bliss and is joy. So when you breathe, feel that you're breathing bliss and joy, inexhaustible bliss and joy. And anything that no longer resonates, we'll just exhale and let it release out of the pores of the skin, out of the lungs. We're gonna slowly begin to make our way up when you're ready on your next inhalation. So inhaling, roll your way right up into a cat pose. So back is rounding and we're looking towards the left. So get fingers nice and broad, get stable in your foundation. We're gonna drop from the low spine to the mid back, lifting and crown of the head for cow pose. And then exhaling and rounding back. all the wonderful currents of energy being pumped or pressurized up the spine to return back to the brain. Exhaling on cat pose, empty body, empty breath, and then inhaling on cow. more rounds here. They're not just warm-ups. These are powerful transitions between poses that can really awaken the channel of the spine and help you to feel more present in your body, more energized. When you're ready, you can come to neutral. We're going to step knees rather close together and just lift ourselves up resting on the knees. A little trick if your knees get sore from practice, just take your mat and fold it over double. Or you might have a little knee cushion. When you're ready, we'll sweep the arms up overhead. Good. Let's exhale, hands stay in prayer and just gently bend the elbows. So this is a kneeling mountain pose. 
the affirmation, I lift my thoughts and energy up to touch the sky. I lift my thoughts and energy up to touch the sky. A little pressure between the palms keeps a stimulation in your awareness to draw higher upward. I lift my thoughts and energy up to touch the sky. You're ready to inhale, shine the palms and separate them up above the head and very slowly as though you were drawing a luminous bubble of energy around the body, let the arms come down, let it be natural of course. Just a little moment of energization, palms right in front of the heart, we're going to take a double inhale and tense our arms out, like you're pulling a big rubber band apart and then relax, again. Building the tension until your muscles are fully engaged and then releasing. Last time. Good. And then relax. All right. Let's come off of the knees. Go ahead and settle your hands down onto the earth. We'll tuck toes underneath. And we're going to inhale and just start to spring forward off the knees and then change the direction by pushing the hips back up towards the sky for downward facing dog. Take a little pedal if you need to, bending one knee and then the other. Relaxing and repeating the affirmation, calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Make sure you release the head of the neck so that you're looking towards the lap. And at some point, we're going to start sort of walking the hands backwards towards the feet. Slowly, 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 until you're lying your torso on your own lap. So nice deep bend in the knees, release the head. If you don't need the hands, anchor the fingertips into the scalp and just do a little circling a great way to stimulate blood flow into the brain. Also to let go of ruminating thoughts or being overly attached to the past or the future. We're going to rise here very slowly. So keep the eyes open, gently rounding the back and slowly building up one vertebrae at a time. Trust your body and the consciousness flowing through you to keep you safe. At some point, you're slowly starting to arrive with eyes looking forward. Keep moving up with the eyes as you lift the hands above the head. So you're looking up into the sky above you. Good. Exhale. Get yourself anchored by sealing hands right into the center of the heart. If you can close the eyes, lean towards the ball of your foot. Look to the spiritual eye. The affirmation, I stand ready to obey thy least command. This is the inner guru or the intuition. I stand ready to obey thy least command. A much higher faculty than reason or even feeling. I stand ready to obey thy least command. When you're ready, you can slowly open the eyes. And we'll take a little bend of the knees. Let's inhale and sweep up into the sky. Good. Exhale. Take a fold all the way forward. Release the belly, ribs, chest, shoulders, head, and neck all the way down. Inhale, you can press off of the legs at any point that is comfortable. Lengthen the spine and then fold back down. We'll bend knees and roll up the spine here. Nice, gradual transition. Good. Arms come all the way up overhead. And we're just going to come right into a half moon pose. So start to lean over to your left side. Actually, let's try something here. Come right through neutral. You're going to bend the knees and send hands into the heart. 
So we're going to come out of chair pose, and I want you to see how your breath and your energy really control these postures. When you take a deep breath, go ahead and cut over off to the sky and come right into half moon pose. Use strength of the belly. Work through the belly into the heart, then into the crown of the head. You're resting on the balls of your feet and feel how strong the body is when it's supported by breath and energy. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Strength and courage fill my body cells. At some point we reach our own personal limitation. That's when we draw the hands back into the heart. Good. Let's take another reset. So a little bend of the knees. Inhale to sweep up. Exhale to fold forward. Big, expansive breath and movement. Inhaling to lift halfway, pressing off of the legs. Exhaling to release, folding. And then bending knees and rolling up here. Each repetition, you are refining your consciousness. Arms all the way up overhead. Let's do the same thing. We'll just come into half moon for a moment, breathing. Good, and then this time, coming through center, let's do it with lots of intention. Come right into your chair pose. Hips go back, hands into the heart. Let's take a deep breath together, inhaling. Go ahead and cut through the sky, over off to the side. Strong foundation, strong belly. Good, and breathe and aspire upward. Strength and courage fill my body cells. Strength and courage fill my body cells. There's a point if you can just relax, it's almost as though you're softening the body we don't lose inner energy or strength, but we soften a little more of the effort, and it may become just a bit easier to stay in the pose. Refining consciousness, refining energy, and then you can slowly come back to neutral when it's natural. Inhale and reach up first. This time we'll turn palms to bathe out and around. We're going to do one more standing pose, eagle position. So when you're ready, go ahead and inhale, sweep the arms up. Good. And then exhale, cross the arms. Doesn't matter which one you start with. And you can hold shoulders. Or some of us may even do it again. You inhale up. Good. And then exhale. How about winding the hands around? So whatever your body's ready for, you'll look at like some version of what you see here, holding on the shoulders. Good. And then you just take a little squat down in the body here, so bending the knees slightly. And you get down enough that there's a sense of stimulation, an awakening, a call to awakening in the body. Now whichever arm you have on top, that's the leg that you step and cross over if you're going to cross. So I'll show you from the front here. I happen to have my right arm on top, so right leg goes over. The affirmation at the center of life storms, I stand serene. At the center of life storms, I stand serene. Get a little taller through the crown of the head, like you had little puppet strings attached. Marionette was lifting your crown just a bit higher. When you're ready to release, you unstep the bottom leg first. Take a deep breath in. When you're ready to exhale, just brush the shoulders off. Some of us like to come all the way down. Careful on the low spine if you choose this. And then inhale to stand back up into the sky. Exhale, hands come into the heart. Let's do the other side. So inhale, sweep arms up and around. And you could even get sort of an energetic cross here. And hands can come up onto the shoulders, or you can come all the way around. So you exhale and sweep and wrap around. So 
you're creating a seal right here. And then a little dip of the knees will get you seated into the pose. Especially for those of us with shoulder sensitivity, relax your shoulders, even if the sensation is taxing or if it feels like tired or kind of sleepy in the joint, those are opportunities for us to breathe and move more energy into the joint. If you feel that you'd like to cross the legs over, just do the top, the same leg as the top arm. If you like to wrap your foot around your supportive leg, feel free. The affirmation at the center of life's storms, I stand serene. And call into your imagination what it looks like when someone is serene. The peace that you see on their face, the joy that you see, at the center of life storms, I stand serene. And feel that serenity in your own body. And you feel the call to unravel yourself out of the pose. You start with the legs first. Take a deep breath and lengthen. And then you're just going to brush the shoulders. So I'll do the gentle version this time. Just brush the hands off of the shoulders and down the body. And then inhale up and around. Good. And then exhale, hands into the heart. Let's take a moment here just to rest with the palms touching in the heart center. And look right into the spiritual eye. Like you're lying in a river holding onto a rock and the current is stronger and stronger until you just decide to let go of that rock and join in with the stream, the current of consciousness flowing into your body. There's this wonderful inner relief of, oh. Go ahead and release the arms down, come out of our little standing meditation. So we're going to use a little tension in breath and then we'll come back down to the earth. My shoulders feel like they need a little bit more love here. I imagine maybe yours are feeling the same. So we're going to take a little bit of a bend in the knees and you're going to tense your arms up and around like you are lifting a big heavy blanket from behind and then float your arms down. So we'll do it with a double breath. Tense up, float the arms down. Again. Good, let's refine the breath. Double inhale. Double exhale right from the heart. One more. Good, reverse the direction. I'm gonna float back. One more. Good. And then look right into the spiritual eye behind closed eyes. Notice how you feel. Maybe we can do one more of those. Take feet a little bit wider here. And we're just going to keep our hands and fists towards the center of the body. And when you're ready, you're going to double inhale one arm up and over. And then relax down. So you tense up. Relax down. The beauty of these exercises, they're so gentle in the body, only as much as you're ready for. So tense as much as you can, then relax down. One more time each side. Last time. Let's just step feet underneath the hips and the shoulders, and take another standing Shavasana. Center first in the heart, 
This is the place in the body ruled by feelings. So imagine calm feelings expanding from the heart and even refine those feelings into devotion to the spiritual eye, which is a love for truth. A love for expansion, ready, you can gently open the eyes, gradually stay a little longer if you'd like. We're coming back down to the earth. Take a little bend of the knees. We'll inhale last time, reaching into the sky. Look between the palms as much as the body will allow. And then exhaling, turn the palms down and fold yourself forwards all the way down. So head and neck release. Dig hands into the elbows and elbow crease. And just do a little rocking side to side. Be very gentle, especially if your spine has been injured at any time. Good. And just breathe some space into the body. Let the body know that it's safe and that this practice is gentle. Relax the head and the neck if you need to kind of squeeze in the back of the neck and then release to help you relax. Do so a couple of times. Some of us even release the hands and we might rub on the backs of the knees if they need a little bit of love. Others of us are back by the kidneys, rubbing on the low back. The secret behind rubbing a part of the body is that it makes your awareness go to that part of the body. It's your awareness while breathing that creates healing in the organs and the muscles. If you can learn to do it without touching the body, that's great. You might practice that if you'd like. At some point we feel ready to come down and we just bend the knees deeply enough that we can touch down to the earth. Wherever you are on your mat, just walk your feet away from your hands, hands away from the feet. Intensifying the inversion a little more, we come into downward facing dog as our final stimulating posture. Good. How easy is it to smile right now? You can even fake it if you need to. When you're ready to, you come down onto the knees and take any resting posture that you'd like. Some of us will come into child's pose. Others of us might venture into a Vajrasana, which is sitting over the ankles and turning palms up. Just breathe here. Remembering that on the spiritual path, our progress is measured by how quickly we return to joy. How long does it take you to return back to a joyful state? Does it take minutes or hours, weeks, months or years? Or are you working moment to moment? Why not abide in joy now? Just remind yourself the very fabric of who you are is joy and bliss. If there's any narrative within you that says 
that you are something other than that. That's a narrative that we can begin to let go of. Even if you have experiences that are other than bliss and joy, never affirm in yourself that you are other than bliss and joy. body will respond so wonderfully to this vibration of joy or peace. You find that it releases all of its protective measures of tight muscles, any defensive positioning, walling off the heart. Very gently, <clears throat> if you so choose, you can walk your hands over to the left a little bit. It's just an opportunity to come into a little bit of a side body extension while resting. And you look underneath the left armpit, or at least in that direction. And again, when it's natural, you start to venture over, traversing to the other side. This time looking under the right armpit or towards that direction. gently coming back through center we're gonna roll our way up our spine so gentle rolling 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 and just enough that you can sit over the ankles so and release the feet out of the way and we're gonna extend the legs nice and long here and you go ahead and just reach back to try to find the muscle of the glutes and pull it out of the way it's our final posture in our seat which is Paschimottanasana and we're going to simply start to lean forwards. There's usually a place where the body begins to catch. And that's where we want to just kind of have a little bit of a micro adjustment forwards and backwards. Just think like rocking a baby, or soothing the body. Eventually, you may find that you are rounding the back and releasing the head. Be very gentle here. There can be a lot of sensation in our spine. Sometimes there's a feeling of pulling. There's a feeling of sort of like a concrete wall that nothing goes beyond that point. And the whole idea here is to soften our response to that sensation. Be loving and patient. And there's an important affirmation for this posture. It is, I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. Say this internally several times. I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. You might just think of the loving arms of a mother holding on to you, reassuring you. I am safe, I am sound, all good things come to me. And at some point our bodies may be ready to transition out of the pose. If you really like this pose, stay a little while. 
If you're not a big fan of the pose, stay about three more breaths. And if you know that it's time to come out of the pose, you release in that proper timing for yourself. Just a little measure of relaxing the spine. Just like we started, we'll wave the knees side to side. Twisting in the spine from one direction to the other. Right now, just close the eyes down. Let everything be internalized. If you'd like to stay on a particular side for a few moments and just feel that wonderful quality of ringing out old energies in the spine, stay on one side. Just make sure you do equal to the other side. Again, when you're ready, we're coming all the way down to the earth. And you're gonna hold on to the backs of the thighs if you'd like and just roll yourself back and down, knees in towards the chest. And just do a little holding of the body, rocking side to side. Good. Staying down on the back, relaxing. And we're gonna close our practice today with a final twisting posture. So set your feet down onto the earth. Let's inhale and lift the hips. This is to align the spine into bridge pose. We might even stay here for a few moments. The affirmation for this pose, my every thought is a bridge to divine grace. My every thought is a bridge to divine grace. My every thought is a bridge to divine grace. When you're ready to lower down, you just set the hips down onto the earth. The easiest twist, just let the knees roll off to the side and then follow with the hands. So you're totally lying on your side. And then you just very gently start to twist by opening the top arm across the chest. If you want a deeper version of the twist, take your top leg and extend it long out to the side. Just be mindful of the low spine. Keep breathing here with eyes closed. Let's get the proper affirmation. I open to the flow of God's life within me. You can imagine the divine in many, many different ways. One of my favorites is unconditional love or a motherly presence. And feel that you're opening the, to the flow of that presence within you. I open to the flow of God's life within me.
enjoy the final three to five breaths at the center of the heart. Final breath of the spiritual eye, feeling that energy is rising up through the body towards the brain. had a leg extended, you might begin to bend at the knee, and then go ahead and roll both arms back to the same side for a moment. Makes it a little easier just to roll back onto the spine. And we're coming opposite side, but before you do, go ahead and lift yourself into your bridge pose just to make sure the spine is aligned and feel that wonderful strengthening quality that rises through the spine in this pose. Remembering the affirmation, I offer my every thought as a bridge to divine grace. I offer my every thought as a bridge to divine grace. When you've enjoyed the posture enough and you're ready to lower the hips, we're rolling off to the other side. So remember, both arms go to the same side. Then you might start to unravel the top arm towards the heart or shoulder or hips. If you'd like to go a little deeper, you take the top leg and extend it long and set it down towards the earth. Close the eyes down. Spend as much time as you can looking to the spiritual eye with a curiosity and an interest. Magical things happen at this point in the body. We can feel our consciousness change in ways that we never dreamed possible at the spiritual eye. Remembering the affirmation, I open to the flow of God's life within me. I open to the flow of God's life within me. Final few breaths, spend them at the heart first, feeling that you're clearing away any energies or emotions that may be limiting your joyful expression. 
just let them evaporate. And then slowly begin, when you're ready, to be exit the position. So bending the knee of the leg that was extended, holding both arms to the same side, and then rolling on to the back. And then take the knees in towards the chest. If there's any final pose that you are craving, now is a good time to find that pose. Or just take a little time to rock side to side. When it's natural for you to do so, just slowly make your way into the final resting position of Shavasana. Shavasana is a lying down position, both legs out long, palms facing up. Sometimes we get into Shavasana and our low back or our mid back might start to feel a little tight. If you feel this way, bend your knees and step your feet onto the ground, and then just wave the knees left and right a few times, placing your attention in the part of the body that feels tight, and breathe feelings of peace into that part of the body. Eventually we all arrive in stillness, the eyes closed, our final affirmation, bones, muscles, movement, I surrender now, anxiety, elation, depression, churning thoughts, all these I give into the hands of peace. In this Shavasana, feel that there is a quality of peace emanating from your body. So that just as quickly as you are receiving from this flow of love and grace into your body, that you are outwardly emanating that. Rest in silence for about five minutes together.
return back to the physical body before moving the muscles. Just notice what it feels like to be in stillness in your body. It's almost like you're floating within the body. Some of us may even feel like we're floating outside of the body. Breathe that in for a few moments. A profound feeling of peace, deep relaxation. Look right into the center of the heart, the calm feeling abiding here, and on a deep inhalation, center up into the spiritual eye, and expand from that point throughout the whole body. Feel that your body is filled with an uplifting energy. radio station, the station magnetizes joy and peace and calm, it fills your body with energy and vitality, and then when it's natural, you let that energy awaken into the hands and the feet be the nose or the eyes, just little movements, head side to side, and eventually arms will reach up overhead along the earth, lengthening to the whole body and feeling that wonderful moment of awakening, deep sense of presence throughout every part of the body. Let's take knees in towards the chest and a little rocking side to side. And we'll go ahead and settle the feet down and just lift the hips for a moment into bridge pose. And your body's so sensitively tuned in this moment to feel that consciousness rising into the brain. And you lower the hips down as soon as you're ready and we'll roll off to the side. As you do get to the side, just go ahead and press off of the earth and come up into a comfortable seat. And we'll turn the palms to face up and just rest here for several moments. Relax the entire body, sitting as tall as you can in your spine and feeling yourself conductive. That your channel is wide open. even begin to sense what a tiny role our personality and our ego plays in this whole picture. Rather that this consciousness and vitality flowing through you is really the star of this show.
look into the spiritual eye for the last few moments, you may notice that as you become more still and more centered, it becomes easier and it actually is a natural expression in the body for your gaze to turn upward. together in prayer. We'll just bow our head just briefly. And bowing the head, we bow to the divine nature that is love, that is bliss. We bow to that nature within all beings, no matter what their personality is like, no matter how they act outwardly. We choose to align ourselves to see the spark of the divine in all beings. We choose to see that spark in ourselves as well. Let's go ahead and rub the palms together and we'll just send waves of blessings out into the world. So feel that as you're extending your palms out, there is a strong current flowing through you. Let that current bless everyone. We'll use the sound of Om to strengthen our channel. When you're ready, join with me. Deep breath to begin. Om. together in prayer. It was Yogananda that said, pray that legions of angels come to this earth. Thousands, millions of angels come to this earth and bless all the people here. To see our whole world blessed. And again, a gentle bow of the head. We bow to that divine nature that is in within each one of us by saying namaste. Namaste, everyone. Thank you all so much for sharing your practice with me this morning and how blessed we are to have these teachings and be able to come back to a place of peace and joy in ourselves. So now you take it with you into your day and when challenging situations come your way, you have a certain sense of yourself centered in your heart that doesn't move or isn't affected by those circumstances. So stay anchored in yourself if you can and take time to be in peace. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Namaste.